Hey guys, what's up? It's JF Cubing, and today I have another unboxing from the cubicle. In here should be MoYu's newest flagship 3x3, the WRM 2020. Alright, so in here it looks like we have the cube and a nice little Cubicle Pro Shop business card. And it also looks like attached to the box, we have a nice limited edition uh, Cubicle Pro Shop logo. So that is definitely very nice. So just taking a quick look at this box, the design is super cool. It's reminiscent of the previous WRM, but instead we have this blue text with the 3.47 on there and we have the little 2020 stamp down at the bottom and this design on the top just looks so cool. Let's just go ahead and open it up. All right, so this is definitely extremely premium packaging. So it looks like we have the cube and it's a nice little case and the accessories. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at these really quick. All right, so in here, it looks like we have the dual adjustment system tool, some extra hardware, extra magnets, these little tools right here that help you get even tensions, a screwdriver, and an extra core. And it looks like down at the bottom, we have some MoYu cards and some pamphlets, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set these aside and get right into the cube. So it looks like they've used the same box as in the previous MoYu flagships. And as you can see on the bottom, they have the little things you can use to make a stand. And right away, just feeling this cube in my hands, it feels extremely light. All right, so let's take a quick look at the shades. Definitely very nice. It looks like we have frosted plastic this time. And yeah, holding this in my hand, it does feel extremely light. But uh, let's go ahead and get into first turns. Okay, so out of the box, it's extremely fast already. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to control right now. Uh, it feels pretty smooth and sandy. There we go, okay. It's so fast, I already messed up the cube. Uh, the magnet strength is pretty weak. Uh, I don't have the original WRM to compare it to, uh, but I do remember how that cube did feel, and the magnets were pretty weak on that one too. The biggest thing that I'm noticing is just how lightning fast this is out of the box, and I'm definitely gonna have to slow this down quite a bit. It's also extremely smooth and has this like really nice feeling that I'm kind of getting addicted to turning. Let's go ahead and check corner cutting. Definitely over 55 degrees, no problem. I don't even think checking corner cutting should be a thing these days. Most modern flagships do an awesome job. Go ahead and check reverse. Yeah, so about line to line, um, maybe even just slightly past, but really no shocker there. Uh, let's go ahead and check the internals. All right, so it looks like there is some factory lube on the inside, but uh, the corner and edge doesn't look like it has anything too crazy about it. You can see we have a double lip right here. And it also looks like we have a new design on the corner piece. Uh, as you can see, we have that weird little design with the circle and the dots around it. I don't know exactly what that does, if it makes it smoother or it helps distribute lube, uh, kind of like how the GAN system works, but there's not really any crazy design changes. It also looks like they've added primary internals into the center pieces. So that's definitely new from the previous model. And I'm not exactly sure why they've made that choice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a solve. And uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and check out that tensioning system. So it does appear that we have the dual adjustment system on the inside. So now is when I'll take out this little tool and see how this works. All right, so it looks like there's eight settings or nine settings if you count this stock setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all to the fifth click.
and uh, now I'll see what that has done to the cube. Right away, I'm noticing it does still feel fast, but also just a little bit more stable. It was already a very stable cube out of the box, but I feel like I have a little bit more control over my turns and it's a little bit less snappy than before. But uh, yeah, overall, this cube does feel very nice and I think it has a very good main potential. So I'm gonna play around with this a little more. I'll probably set it up and I'll get back to you on my final thoughts. Okay, so I've had the WRM for a few days now and I've gotten the chance to set it up and play around with it a little more. And here are my final thoughts. So even after fully setting up the cube and slowing it down by a significant amount, this cube still feels lightning fast. I used weight five on the core and a combination of silk and compound 10 on the pieces with just a little bit of DNM. And I found that I liked the fifth setting on the spring compression system that put the cube at a very comfortable speed for me. However, after a couple hundred solves or so, the cube always seems to speed back up again to the point of it being uncontrollable. I mean, this cube just eats up lube like no other cube that I have seen. Setting that aside though, I do still really enjoy the feel and performance of this cube. The feeling of this cube is very light and soft, and the swishy feeling that it had out of the box was replaced by an extremely smooth feel. This cube doesn't feel clunky like the previous WRM or the GTS 3M, and in my opinion, it's more satisfying to turn than the other two previous MoU flagships. One thing I wanted to point out though was that the extremely light and fast feeling of the cube did make it feel a little bit cheap, especially right after slowing it down. It kind of just made the plastic feel a little bit thin and hollow. I do still really enjoy the feel and performance of this cube, which I definitely think is up to par with all of the other modern flagships that have been coming out recently. I did have to alter my turning style because this cube is so fast and hard to control, so I had to be a little bit of a more light and accurate turner, which I think is the type of solver that this cube is most suited for. After doing a couple thousand solves, I have gotten used to the feeling, and I do know to be just a little bit careful so I don't overshoot. That being said, I do still get amazing times on this cube, and I don't think I've ever had a cube that's ever suited me better than this one, and I can comfortably say that this cube is my new main. Alright guys, so that is the unboxing and my final thoughts of the WRM 2020. Thank you so much to the cubicle for sending me this cube for free to try. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am on the road to 300 subscribers and I would really appreciate your support. Alright guys, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.